Alrighty, so we're um, just a qu really quick one. So you may have noticed, um, you may have noticed before, but if not, you'll definitely notice it when you, with this new method. Um, there's this grey ball in the scene, um, which is interesting and really annoying, um, because you may notice the grey ball doesn't exist here, but when we hit play, it all of a sudden does exist. Um, and what that grey ball is is actually the player. So that is that is you. So if you remember in our camera setup, if I open it up here, we are switching, where is it? Up here. We are setting our camera view to be the tracked camera, which means the player ball, um, which is what that gray thing is, if I can find it again, uh, you know, is where the player is, I guess. Um, so it can be a bit annoying because it's going to show up. And so there's two ways you can get rid of that. Um, the first method um, is really easy. So if you have a player, what is it called? A player start in the world. Um, here we go, I'll just drag one out. Whenever you hit play, that's immediately where you're gonna start. Or whether where the player will start. Obviously you're gonna go straight to your camera, but yeah, there it is. Um, so first of all, deleting that will, uh, like that. Um, so then the question is, where does the player start if that doesn't exist? And so that the player starts wherever the viewport camera is, so this one I'm flying around at the moment, is. So if I stick that directly above the table like this and then hit play uh, and we move up, there it is. So the easiest way to get rid of it really is if we just hide it in the scene. So if I come underneath here and hit play, um, so we're not going to see it anymore in the scene. It's not going to be anywhere because there it is under there. So that is probably the easiest and the recommended method for me to do it. Um, I haven't, there is no real way to stop it from spawning completely. Um, it does show up in the outliner when you hit play. Uh, oops, here we go. Uh, so it is the player controller, I think, I do believe. Um, so, you know, you can delete that, but it's coming back again. So the easiest way is simply to fly your viewport sort of out of the way, like underneath the scene and hit play. Alrighty, so the second method of getting rid of it, um, was editing the default material that all the objects in Unreal use, which is the material that ball uses to be invisible. Um, however, interestingly enough, I cannot get that to work anymore. The balls still exist, even though the material um, is completely see-through. So I'm not exactly sure what that is about. Um, I, yeah, I was worked in another project. Um, that is not recommended method anyway, um, simply because that affects a lot more than just that little ball. It'll affect um, quite a lot of things that use the default material in Unreal, and so you'll start seeing like see-through things, um, which can be a bit annoying, especially that you don't know they exist in the first place. So uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway. So the best method is, you know, just hide your ball or you can even, I guess, um, use the player start, but move it outside the level. That way you don't even have to think about it. So every time you hit play, you know, you're going to go straight to your camera, which is fine. And the player ball will always be at the player start, which you've already hidden. Easy.